Let's get to it. The upper three layers, the application layer, the presentation layer, and the session layer. The ones in red, which you see data, 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 that is what's called a PDU, a protocol data unit. That is what the book defines as it talks to its peer layer, okay? What happens at the application layer? What is the application layer? Is that Word, Excel, PowerPoint? Of course not, all right? The application layer actually accesses the network to see if it's ready to receive information. So any application that uses the network, we're dealing with the application layer. So when we're using HTTP or HTTPS, meaning we're in a browser, the browser is the interface, but the protocol is what deals with the application layer. We have FTP, TFTP, right, when we're transferring files. SMTP, email, if we're using Outlook, it is an interface, but the protocols, whether it be SMTP, POP, IMAP, all these different types of protocols that deal with email, those access the network, right? So those deal with the application layer. Telnet, terminal emulation programs that let you access the network. SSH, DNS, DNS uses the application layer. One thing I want to talk about DNS, I can't help myself. DNS also uses TCP or UDP. It all depends on what you're doing with DNS, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. DNS uses both TCP and UDP. You know, it works at the application layer. It's if you're doing, let's say, a domain um, replication, you need some sort of replication, uh, definitely using TCP because of the size of the file is going to be big and something very important, so you have to be connection oriented, where if it's just, just you're looking for a computer name or a host name, an object, it'll use UDP. Keep that in mind, DNS uses both of those two protocols, TCP and UDP, it all depends what it's doing. The NTP, news time, SNMP, right? network management protocol, and DHCP. All these things, all these protocols access the network. Therefore, they work at the application. So do not get them confused that, hey, Outlook must be in the application layer. No, Outlook is not in the application layer. That is an interface, just like Word. It is an interface. Your browser, it is an interface. But how do we get to see what's on the network? Through the use of those particular protocols, okay? HTTP, FTP, and so forth. Presentation layer. Again, still data. That's the PDU. Nothing's been broken down yet. Still big, one big chunk, all right? But the presentation layer presents things to the application layer as it starts coming right back up the OSI model. It presents things to the application because what, what does the presentation layer deal with? Formatting. What are we talking? Are we talking ASCII? Are we talking EBCDIC, which is mainframe? We're dealing with encryption and decryption. So and then, of course, proper delivery and formatting. So this is what we deal with in the presentation. And this is all you really need to drill down to. Do you not have to get crazy? We can spend six months, all right, six years, talking about everything that happens in each layer of the OSI model. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. The, this right here, which you will have, uh, this is all you really need to know. But again, presentation layer is still one big chunk of data. It presents things to the application layer, which is, as they say, closest to the user, what we see. So if we're going from mainframe to ASCII, is the presentation layer's job to make sure to make that translation, all right? If we're encrypting information, it must make it the encryption. It must do the encryption for us. It, I mean, I'll make it as simple as RTF, all right, or, your, or JPEG, the type of formatting used. That is the job of the presentation layer. The next one is a session layer. 
Again, data. Nothing's been broken up. Nothing's been taken apart. M starts, maintains, and ends communication sessions between applications. It keeps each application different. So if you're using your browser for HTTP, if you're using uh, FTP, if you're telnetting, if you're using DNS, if you're doing remote desktop, whatever it is you're using, that you're using different ports, the application layer's job is to make sure that those applications are separate and that it starts the session, that dialogue, maintains it, and when it's closed out, it makes sure that it's closed. So that it's, it's, that it's its job. All right, to maintain all those applications separate from one another and keep them working, or if you're over and you close the browser, or whatever the case may be, that application is closed. So those are your upper three layers, your upper three layers, and that's it. That's it. That's all you need to know. All right. And remember, we're going down now. We're going down the OSI. We're doing the from the very top, and we're going to work our way down. From the very top, I'm going to work our way down. And the first three layers, which are called the upper layers, the PDUs, the protocol data units, are data, data, data. Data, data, data. Do I have a mnemonic device for that? Yes, but I'm saying that for last. All right, data, data, data. So these are the only things you need to memorize about the upper three layers of the OSI model. Now, one thing that I do, not stress, but you should know, know the port numbers, port 80, port 443, 21, uh, I forget TFTP, uh, SMTP 25, Telnet 22, SSH 23. So you need to know, you should know, that is the basic port numbers that is important to know when especially when you're creating access list in the test so know your port numbers know your port numbers but again application layer presentation data uh, session your upper three layers and remember the lower layer will encapsulate the upper layer the lower layer will encapsulate the upper layer what does that mean if you get a question that states the presentation layer will encapsulate the session layer that is incorrect, that is false. It is, the presentation layer will encapsulate the application layer. The session layer will encapsulate the presentation layer. So if you get a question like that, remember, the lower encapsulates the upper. All right, those are your upper three layers. Next video, I told you, little butt, little morsels. Next video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the four lower layers, and those are the ones that are called the meat and potatoes. I'll see you in the next one.